Welcome to ATCM, the emergency medicine channel. Today is our topic of discussion, approach a patient with a coma. Uh, it is from the neurological emergency from our Nancy Caroline. So content, introduction and then what are the common mechanism and then diagnosis and then finally approach. In approach, we are going to see what are the various causes, how we have to assess, for, how we have to manage in the pre-hospital situation. So introduction, coma, co what is mean by coma? Coma is a state of marked by the absence of erosion and awareness of one self and then environment. They will, uh, there is an absence in the erosion and then awareness of the self and then environment. That is called the coma. That is uh, results from the diffuse dysfunction of neuronal system that is take part in the awareness and then aerosol control. That is the major reason. There will be a diffuse dysfunction, right? So, if the person, uh, person with a coma, they do not respond with an internal or external stimuli. Those are the characteristics uh, for the coma. So, what are the three major mechanisms or three major causes? Structural brain lesion, diffuse neuronal function, rarely psychiatric cause also will cause the coma. So, next is a diagnosis or assessment part. So, in assessment part, first step is a determine when the patient was last seen functionally, uh, functioning normally means so when they appeared uh, as a normal uh, in a normal state that we have to determine when uh, when means the time when they appeared normal and then second thing evaluate the speed of onset of the patient altered level of consciousness means so we have to evaluate the timing so some rather condition that altered level of consciousness will occur within a minute or within a second some rather cases it will take minutes to hours or hours to days so, some rather cases it will take days to months, months to years. So, the speed of onset we have to calculate and then signs and symptom of diminished LOC. So, uh, again, it is uh, each condition that will depict different, different signs and symptoms. So, that also we have to rule out. Based on that, we can manage the condition uh, that will give the clues. So, cognitive effects like decreasing LOC, confusion, hallucination, delusion, psychosis, difficult thinking, sleepiness, somnolence, everything you have to assess. Speech effect, how they are slurred speech or apraxia, agnosia that we have to assess. Movement like ataxic, aphasia, a seizure, poisoning, how the decorticate and then decerebrate we discuss know that any problem in the movement is there or not. General CNS function wise, the total unresponsiveness that is a coma will be there that we have to assess the state. And then assessment wise, we have to evaluate the past medical history and then evaluate the medication, a present history, any history of trauma is there or not that we have to rule out. The person wearing any identification, so that uh, medical band, anything they have or not that we have to uh, rule out and then patient acting before uh, how was the patient acting before you were you were called so whether the person is uh, somewhat unresponsive state or the person is responding with the pain that uh, we are measuring that avpu scale right that we have to rule out and then grading system that we have the for a grading system we have a classical coma scale with that we can rule out so if it is a in hospital, once the person get into the hospital, these are the lab and then imaging test we will uh, go for complete blood count and then serum uh, glucose level. So whenever we are handling the person with the unresponsive state, the, the first step we have to, uh, the, uh, based on American Heart Association, we can check for that and then your pulse and then respiration. If both are there means second step we have to rule out the glucose level, we have to take out the GRDS level. So hypoglycemia is a one of the major cause. The third uh, remaining things are drowsiness because of the hypovolemia. So based on things we can go for, for first step you have to check the pulse and then respiration. If it is there means second step you have to check for the glucose. Let us keep in mind. And then electrolyte rate, sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, phosphorus, ammonia level also will check because in the case of hepatic encephalopathy that ammonia load will increase that will cause the alter level of consciousness or uh, coma state. So that for that reason we will check the serum ammonia level, ABG and then toxicological screening. Imaging wise we will go ECG, EEG, CT, MRI. So how we have to approach the patient? Scene size of the same concept only, generalized impression we have to assess the AVPU scale, we have to assess the life threats and then condition. Mainly in the airway and cervical spine protection we have to protect the airway with the definitive airway. So the def definitive airway means the airway that present with the 
cup so for your uh, endotracheal tube that we can administer uh, intubate the patient and then cervical spine immobilization technique should be uh, taken care when if you are suspecting the person in the trauma and then breathing and ventilation should be supported with a ventilator the main mode of ventilation control mandatory ventilation so the whole thing taken over by the ventilator itself so for that circulation if you are witnessing any hemorrhage means first step you have to control the hemorrhage for that you can apply the direct pressure over the bleeding site if it is not controlling either you can go with a tourniquet over the proximal to the bleeding site again still more if it is bleeding after the application of tourniquet also then you can go with a pressure point so if the uh, bleeding in the lower limb means you can press over the um, your popliteal artery or your femoral artery where is the pressure point so and then we have to manage the loss and then ongoing loss everything we have to manage with the crystallites or colloids a uh, disability neurological assessment based on the or gcs and then berla assessment we can uh, manage the condition for exposure again temperature control should be there in that exposure and then specific causes wise uh, clinical manifestation management that we are going to see so these are the each and every condition like uh, some clues we have a e i o u tips so that we can see in the nancy caroli so this it is a mnemonic so common causes for the elder level of consciousness or coma so a is a alcohol and then acidosis for alcohol the onset of elder level of consciousness that will occur in a two stage either acute or chronic so the signs and symptom or clinical manifestation means intoxication slurred speech ataxia order of alcohol on breath a uh, tremor hallucination the main treatment focus is uh, we have to administer the oxygen glucose and then temperature control we have to take care we have to consider the timing with the dextrose so acidosis is a acute the onset of uh, alter level of consciousness that will occur acute within hours it will occur so it may be a various reason tachypnea and then hyperpnea are the most common one why acidosis means so if it is a two condition we have right respiratory acidosis means there will be increased pco2 level in the body metabolic acidosis means what there is a deficit in the bicarbonate so both condition the body try to compensate the condition by decreasing the your um, this one uh, acid level right for that reason the person will develop the tachypnea and then hi hyperpnea so for that cases you have to ventilate the patient if it is indicated we can administer the soda bicarbonate so e indicate that is epilepsy and then endocrine causes epilepsy means it is that will alter level of consciousness will occur within a second it's a sudden and then aura hypertonic and then tonic clonic activity post ictal state that will occur so that stage is aura ictal post ictal no? that will occur and then if prolonged means then we can administer the benzodiazepine in the case of status epilepticus endocrine causes wise it's it will take a chronic days to weeks majorly in the hyperthyroid and then hypothyroid conditions so we can manage based on that, that uh, we are going to de deal about the upcoming presentation mainly in hyperthyroid hypothyroid will manage with the symptomatic management so i in the sense insulin that will cause acute uh, alter level of consciousness with acute onset and then diaphoresis tachycardia tremor ataxia uh, the main set of management is a im glucagon or we can go with a, uh, a textose uh, solution so i means insulin means hypoglycemia okay so opiates means o in the sense that is indeed depicting opiates that onset of uh, loss of consciousness so that will occur minute to hours the major important thing meiosis decreased loc bradypnea and then cyanosis in the case of opi toxicity the main set of management is a naloxone so other drugs because of any drug overdose it is depending upon the drug and then depending upon the dose the alter level of consciousness onset time will differ management also based on the drug we have to go for the antidote you in the sense uremia in the case of kidney failure increased urea level in the body that uh, onset wise it's a gradual it will take a days to week nausea vomiting uremic uh, frost and then muscle cramping dysrhythmias pulmonary edema will be there there we have to check the oxygen glucose and then temperature for the proper brain function t indicates trauma 
and that will occur within a second within a second that alter level of consciousness will occur because of the hypotension we have to uh, consider the manual inlet stabilization cervical spine and then adequate blood pressure uh, we can uh, use the vasopressor or fluid therapy we have to provide t in the sense temperature again this hyperthermia and then hypothermia for that if it is hyperthermia based on that we have to manage the condition so i in the sense in infection it is it will take a hours to days and then fever rash malice tachycardia tachypnea skin may be cold or clammy or uh, depending upon the degree of infection it will vary so again for infection we are mainly in pre hospital we have to focus about the blood pressure because in sepsis cases there will be a sepsis and septic causes a, a septic shock there will be a hypotension will occur so mainly we are focusing on the adequate blood pressure p in the sense poisoning and then psychogenic causes poisoning again it will take acute to gradual so depending upon the poisoning so um, again management wise supportive care we have to do uh, specific antidote if some rather cases if we have in our ambulance crew then we can go for psychogenic causes again it is a sudden because of the psychiatric illness delusion hallucination disorganization and then bizarre movement or behavior will be there there also we have to make sure the oxygen glucose temperature for the proper functioning of your brain so s in the sense again uh, shock stroke and syncope space pay, occupying lesion tumor and then subarachnoid hemorrhage for shock it will take it ac uh, acute to gradual and then decreased blood pressure other signs of poor perfusion will be there the main set of management there we are go uh, hypotension is a major cause so for that we have to administer the fluid if it is not reverting means we can go with the vasopressor stroke wise it is a sudden onset the same thing whatever uh, the facial drop slurred speech arm drift will occur there also we have to consider the oxygen glucose and then temperature syncope it is acute onset so it's a transient loss of consciousness right so the management is adequate circulation and then oxygenation we have to uh, frequently refer the cardiac rhythm so because syncope will have a two major things because of the cardiac and non cardiac causes there is also we are going to deal about the upcoming presentation so make sure the person is getting adequate amount of oxygenation and then uh, amount of circulating blood volume so space occupying lesion is that is a tumor related or any hemorrhage related and then here uh, headache new onset of seizure stroke like a symptom will occur we have to treat based on the if it's a person have a stroke means so if it is increased intracranial pressure means you have to give the head up position hyperventilation that we can go for if the person have a seizure means then we can administer the benzodiazepine if it is a, a status epilepticus so subarachnoid hemorrhage that will occur acute manner thunder clap headache will occur worst headache of uh, they will have a, they will experience first headache signs and symptom of stroke and then seizure will occur again there also if it is a increased intracranial pressure based on that we have to treat if the person have a seizure activity means then you have to go with the benzodiazepine so uh, the other major important thing it is called the coma cocktail so you don't know which which is causing the coma so generally you are approaching a patient with a coma means there is a four type of uh, four sets of things we are have to give in the case of uh, coma patients or uh, alter level of consciousness cases that is called coma cocktail four things textrose oxygen naloxone and thymine textrose will give for the hypoglycemia oxygen supplemental oxygen usually will administer naloxone for the opiate poisoning thymine is for also for the your um, venic encephalopathy cases so right so these four things don't you can remember as a don't textrose oxygen naloxone and then thymine so flumazenil also they were added newly but still it is in the controversy whether we can give or not because flumazenil mainly it is an antidote for your uh, benzodiazepine toxicity right flumazenil also it's one of the uh, benzodiazepine so mainly uh, in inside hospital also in hospital also flumazenil maximum we won't use because again it will cause the um, depression of your neuronal activity or uh, it, again it will cause the further loss of consciousness it will depress your uh, awakeness that is why mostly we won't go uh, in inside hospital also but if you want to quickly reverse the condition if you want to quickly reverse the person's uh, consciousness well, there we will go so just to remember flumazenil it's one of the drug that is added in the coma cocktail but mostly we won't use so these are my reference
and then do your best shalom